Layers play a key role in defining wall thickness and are essential when working with location lines. In this video, we will go even deeper to explore how to layer these functions effectively. Let's dive in and see how it's done. First, I'm going to create some walls with this rectangle in this center. After this, we're going to add the floor. I'm going to use this pick walls option and make sure you check this extend into wall. Then I'm going to click on all of these walls like this and hit finish. After this, I'm going to create a section in this part to see the layers of my wall and the floor. Let's move this to here so we don't see this part. We want to see just this section and then let's go to this view. In here, I'm going to zoom into this part. Let me move this wall down to this part and then let's go to modify section and join these two together. Okay. Now if we go to this fine and consistent color, we can see them like this. We can also extend this to the other side, which will help us to understand the layers in this part better. So I'm going to click on this part and in first level, I'm going to go to edit boundary and let's move these parts a little bit outside this wall like this okay i'm going to hit finish and let's go back to this section i'm going to also hide this level so we can see everything in the right place next thing we need to do is to change this scale so we see these line on thicker lines you can either go this way or you can change the scale to something like this maybe 1 by 20 is okay after this we are going to go to the structure section of this wall to this part you can see this function in here we have the same setting for floor too if you select your floor and go to edit type you can see this structure in here and also this function with all of these layers also we have the same for the roof for the ceiling even if you go to massing and side you will see the same options for this topo solid too okay i'm going to select my wall and go to edit type in this structure section we have six different functions for this wall for floor we have seven there is this metal deck function too that we can use just for this floor but obviously for wall we don't have it so let me introduce all of these functions one by one the structure layer is the main layer the core layer of our wall that we should have in this core boundary we can also have it outside this part but this is the core this is the structure of our wall and as you can see its priority its number its value is on one so it is the most important layer on our wall or on any other tool for floor for ceiling for roof it's the same after that we have this substrate this is our second priority this substrate layer creates some foundation for the finishes for other layers that need to have a proper base okay for example for creating tiles on a floor or on wall we can create a concrete substrate we can create a cement substrate okay after this we have thermal air layer with number three priority so this layer create thermal resistance create air barriers for the wall or for the floor and also we have this membrane layer which creates waterproofing but it doesn't have any value it doesn't have any priority next to it this is because we cannot assign any thickness for this membrane layer you can also consider this as a number three priority but you can place it anywhere you want okay after this layer we have finish one with number four priority this layer is the outermost layer in the exterior side of the floor or wall if it is a floor you can use it on this part if it is a wall you should use it on the exterior side okay also we have this finish two with number five priority these are all the last layer of our element but we use this finish one on the exterior side and finish two in the interior side 
There's also another definition for this two layer. It says you should use this finish too on the last layer. It doesn't matter in the interior side or in the exterior side. And the layer before that, you should use this finish one because of their priority. Okay, there are two ways that you can set these two functions. Now that we know about all of these functions, let's learn how we should layer them on these parts and how we should connect them with the layers of other elements. I'm going to switch back to this structure for this layer and I'm going to insert two more layers, one about this core boundary and another one under it, outside and under this structure. I'm going to change these functions to substrate and for the materials, let me just assign very simple materials in these parts. For the structure, I'm going to use this brick. For the substrate, in this part, I'm going to add a um, concrete, maybe this concrete cast in place or maybe this one. I'm going to click on OK. And also for this part, I'm going to go with the same. After this, we need to add thickness for these two layers too. For this part, I'm going to change it to 5 cm. And for the layer, substrate layer in the interior side, I'm going to change this to 2 cm. Click on OK and OK again. I'm going to select this floor and go to its edit type. In this part for its structure, I'm going to change its material to this one and click on OK. Again, I will add two layers outside and under this part down here. And then I will change their thickness, this one to let's go with 3 cm and the other one I'm going to go with 6 cm. For the function, I'm going to switch to substrate and also for this one and for the material. Uh, let's go with something else. Maybe I just want to have some colors in this part. It doesn't matter the material that we want to have. For example, this Gibson board. I'm going to click on OK for this base. And for the top part, I am going to go with um concrete cast in place and i will just change its color to something like this okay and okay now you can see the wall the floor and the way their layers are connected together i'm going to select my wall go to edit type to this structure section rule number one that you need to consider for this function is that any layer inside the core boundary has the highest priority, even higher than this structure with number one priority. Okay, I'm going to switch this to finish one. And as you can see, we have this substrate number two, substrate number two in both sides of this core boundary. Okay, so this is going to be our finish one and this part and this part are substrate. I'm going to click on OK and OK. I'm going to select my floor, go to edit type and in this part, you can see that this structure with number one priority is on the core boundary. But if I move this outside this core boundary, I'm going to move this one inside because we cannot have this core boundary empty. If I move this outside and right now you can see that we have this substrate number two. Okay, so this layer is substrate number two. Of course, it will cut this layer with finish one because it has number four priority. But the layer we have in this part inside the core boundary will cut this part. Okay, I'm going to click on OK and OK again. If you look at this part, this is the substrate layer. But because it is inside the core boundary, this wall cannot cut that layer. But it cuts this layer because it is a structure and outside the core boundary, right? So this is rule number one. Another rule we have in this part, I'm going to select this floor, go to edit type to this part, is that you should layer this function based on their priority. I'm going to insert another layer in this part. 
Now let's change this to five and this one to four. Okay. The number they have in this part from one to five should be on order. You cannot move this number five under this substrate layer. If I move this down, let me also add thickness for these parts. For example, this two for here, two for this part too. And if I click on OK, you can see that layer function priorities cannot ascend from the core boundary to the finish phase. Okay, so if you are outside this core boundary, inside it, it doesn't matter. You can see that we have number two in here and number one. After this core boundary, outside this part, even in the interior side or in the exterior side, you cannot have this order. They should be by their value. You should set them by their value. For example, if now I move this up to here, you can see one, two, four, five. If I click on OK and OK, we won't have any problem in this part. Okay. And as you can see, this layer on the wall with number two substrate cuts the rest of these layers in this part if i select this for go to its edit type in here you see it cuts all of these layers but for this structure this substrate layer in both of these sides since the priority is lower than this structure layer it couldn't cut it okay this structure layer is outside the core boundary and the substrate layers are again outside the core boundary so you can see that these layers are cutting the whole floor but in this part they couldn't cut this layer the substrate layer in here right because it is inside the core boundary but they cut this structure layer this finish number four cuts this structure layer but these substrate are unable to cut this layer you can see this is how it looks. If we move this structure layer down inside this part and click on OK and OK, the floor cuts this finish one because it has a higher priority. You see, this is the finish one. If I move this to structure number one and click on OK and OK, nothing will happen. You see, it cuts this layer because in this part it has a higher priority than this substrate again if i put this on structure number one click on ok and ok it will cut this wall again i'm going to select the floor go to edit type and to this structure section i will move this layer outside this core boundary change its function to for example this substrate and then i will change the function of this one to a thermal air layer and i will change it thickness to let's keep it on number two because we can see the layers under this value better and for this part i'm going to change it to the number four and for the materials for this part let's go with just simply air click on ok and for finish one i'm going to just use a tile let's go with this one and i want to change its color to something like this okay and okay now i'm going to click on ok and ok again select the wall go to edit type and in a structure section i want to change the material of this layer in the interior side to a gibson wallboard this one click on ok and then for the exterior side i want to add some layers up to here change the function to finish number four and for their material I'm going to go with maybe a concrete let's go with something like this or we can go with something like this I'm going to click on OK because I just want to have another color for this part it doesn't matter the type of the material click on OK and OK and OK again 
error row number one zero thickness okay we forgot to add a thickness for this part going to go v three centimeter click on okay and okay so in here you can see another type of orders in the exterior side of this wall you can see that this layer cuts the last layer of the floor if you select it and go to edit type you can see that this material this ceramic layer is finish one with number four priority okay but the last layer we have in this part on the wall is finish one number four they are the same but the problem is right now the priority is with this wall so it will cut any layer that is under or equal to with its function okay so this is why we see this layer cuts this part but it can cut these layers why because the priority the function is higher if i select this one go to edit type in here you can see several air layer with number three priority and substrate layer with number two and as you can see it cannot cut these two layers okay but on the interior side we have this substrate layer and it cuts all of these layers to the structure to the core boundary right also if you look at the base under this floor you can see that these two parts are connected together there is no line between them right now you can see there is this line between all of these layers in this part and also in here and in this part but between these two there is nothing this is because their priority are exactly the same and also they have the same material so in this case you can see this simple connection between them if you select your floor and go to edit time on the base on the exterior side you can see the substrate number two it gives a wall board on the wall section if you go to edit type in here you can see the same layer with the same function priority and the material so they are connected simply like this but on the exterior side of this wall you can see this clad white with number four priority but for the floor it is different if we go to the floor for the exterior side for the outermost layer we can see this ceramic turret the function is the same but their material are different so we can see this line in here if we change the material of this part for example i'm going to switch to this flat white and click on ok and ok as you can see the line between them in the exterior side of this wall and on the outermost layer of this floor is disappeared okay so this is how you should use the function and the layers to set them correctly next to each other this is important when you want to create details when you want to create 2d documentations like this and also when you want to create a schedules i think we have over two hours of content in the wall chapter in our Revit architecture mastery course and you can learn all of them with wasting no time searching for all of these important lessons and tricks in the entire internet so if you are interested in learning more about this course or if you want to join us you can check the link in the description